I'm James Alokedo, the director and co-founder of Pride Cup Australia. Pride Cup harnesses the power of sport to really show LGBTI people they're included, they're accepted, and they're wanted in sporting clubs and communities. We work mostly within regional and rural towns, um, so the places where a lot of LGBTI people really don't feel like they are always accepted and they are always included. So we want to make sure that the, the centre of their world, which in a lot of times is sport, um, is accepting to them, wants them to be involved and wants to show that they're visible allies towards the community. What propelled me on this journey was lived experience. I know what it was like to not be accepted and not be included as an LGBTI person in sport. And I wanted to make sure that nobody went through what I went through, just being involved in sport and exercise. The LGBTI community makes up 10 to 15% of our population. Um, and so many of them are not involved in any type of sport or physical activity because they know that the, that the support services, the spaces aren't always that accepting or inclusive of them. So imagine the talent, imagine the amount of people we could get involved in sport and recreation just by making sure we're accepting, by making sure we're visible of our acceptance for them. So it's really important to balance what we do. We are a socially driven charity organisation, but we are also a business. Um, and to make sure that our organisation can run effectively and efficiently while also serving the people that we're here to serve, we really want to make sure that all LGBTI people are accepted and included in all walks of life. I think I always know that what we want, we will achieve. Um, the world will take us to where we need to be um, and everything does happen for a reason. And I truly mean that everything happens for a reason. Um, today's, today's fall might be what makes us huge tomorrow. Um, our first funding opportunity were, happened four years ago and was, I thought at the time, was a total um, terrible situation where I felt like we weren't being listened to. I felt like what we were asked, what we had asked went on deaf ears. Um, and little did I know four years later that that would be the thing and that would be the one conversation which really helped us become a legitimate and strong organisation. The biggest piece of advice I have for any new founder is to ask questions. You cannot do everything yourself. You're, you're not perfect at everything or an expert at everything that you're doing. Make sure that you're asking questions because you never know who will be there to help you. Um, and those people that are there to help you might change your vision and change your mission to something that is really, really amazing and that you never thought you would be. Truly surprises me each and every day is the amount of people who want to help just to help. The amount of people who will give you time, give you their knowledge, give you their skills, talk to you about their lived experience, just to make sure that your organisation and that you can get further um, because they know at the end of the day that it's only through shared experiences that we can all learn and they want to share that with you.